truck fanning himself off. <laughs> Johnson has had pitches clocked at as much as 102 miles per hour in Major League play. Would you say he is heart is palpitating a bit hi again this is Corey with dnc ball cards back again with another junk wax era video today we're going to be busting into a box of 1989 donruss uh, this is a 660 card set uh, it's long run value just like much much of the junk wax uh, era cards have been depressed by its rampant overproduction. Uh, subsets uh, include the the normal Diamond Kings and rated rookies, which Donruss is obviously known for. Uh, the rookie cards, key rookie cards in this set include uh, Gary Sheffield, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz, Randy Johnson, and Ken Griffey Jr., uh, as well as Kurt Schilling. And uh, this is a wax box, so there's 36 packs, uh, 15 cards per pack, plus one uh, three-piece puzzle. Uh, you can see the puzzle in this particular year is uh, Warren Spawn uh, with the, the Milwaukee Braves, uh, or Milwaukee, yeah, Milwaukee Braves at the time. Uh, the, uh, uh, there are some inserts, I guess. The, the Grand Slammers uh, are inserted into the cello packs. Um, so obviously we won't be getting any of those, but uh, they also have the bonus MVP cards, which are randomly inserted, and uh, they, they're they really, because they're not particularly rare, uh, they hold no uh, increased value or anything, but it would be cool to, to, to get some of those. Uh, we've gotten some of those in previous uh, Donruss years as well. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, bust into this box. This box is... Um, is in very, very, very good shape. Um, I'm trying to remember, I believe I got this on eBay uh, for uh, probably around uh, 12 bucks or so. And um, uh, if you're like me and you grew up in the, the late 80s, early 90s, um, there's really just one card uh, that, that we're looking to, to get, which is the, uh, the Grippy Jr. Um, rookie card um, these cards I do remember getting a lot of these cards um, as a kid uh, they're very very delicate um, obviously they have the the dark border and uh, I think they're they're just kind of rather thin cards that um, uh, can show damage or nicks very very easily uh, I do remember kind of opening these packs and it seems like they were cards were often damaged just coming right out of the pack so um, I do remember opening a bunch of these as a kid um, I do remember getting a King Griffey Jr. rated rookie card out of uh, a pack but um, I must have traded it or lost it somewhere along the way because I, I no longer own that card. So I would obviously be very, very happy uh, to get that uh, tonight. So uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, let's open uh, this. I really do like the design of this particular Donner set. It's a little different. Uh, they kind of uh, went away from what they had done uh, for several years. Previously, um, I guess you could say these are a little reminiscent of the uh, 87 Donruss just because of the, or I'm sorry, the 86 Donruss because of the dark borders. Um, or I'm sorry, it is 87 Donruss. Uh, but we'll just kind of go through these. Um, uh, they do look like uh, they're in really good shape. Uh, sharp corners, at least on this pack. So glad that this... Uh, this box is has been well kept. Uh, there's a Diamond King, Corey Snyder, Sid Fernandez, Todd Benzinger, Jim Gott, Pasquale Perez, Greg Walker, Kurt Manwaring, Mike Henneman, Bob Welch, Ken Williams. 
Orlando Runes, Ruben Sierra, and then I saw that Cal Ripken kind of sneaking out uh, earlier. Uh, it does have a little bit of a, it's just some, some shavings there. I've, I've always been a big fan of the back of these cards, even though they, they are limited to the last five years of production. They're very clean. Uh, I do like the way uh, the backs of the Donner's cards um, have always looked. And, of course, we got the, um, I didn't really see this, but we got the uh, the Warren Spawn uh, puzzle piece, which we'll have in, in each pack. Uh, one of the other cards that I distinctly remember um, as a kid uh, that I also had uh, at some point and, and just uh, no longer in my possession is the Jose Canseco 4040 card. It's got the special 4040 designation. Uh, I believe Oral Hershiser has one as well for his uh, scoreless inning streak. Uh, but the, uh, the Canseco 4040 card... Uh, would also be really cool to, to get. Uh, Brian Holton, Pat Tabler, Johnny Ray, Randy Myers, Andres Thomas, there's another Corey Snyder, and there's our puzzle piece card, Warren Spawn, or that's not the puzzle piece, but that just shows what it's going to actually look like. Uh, Oil Can Boyd, Great nickname there, Jim Gott, Nelson Santavina, Steve Psycho Lions, Mike Aldretti, Paul Gibson, and Bob Welch. Not much going on there. I don't think we've seen a, a rated rookie card yet. Um, as I mentioned, uh, we've, my ideal card would be the Griffey. Um, but we've also got several other rookies. I'm not sure how many of them have the rated rookie designation, but we've also got Randy Johnson, uh, Craig Biggio, as I mentioned, um, John Smoltz. So there are uh, several Hall of Fame rookie cards that we can get uh, here. Uh, Frank White, uh, Mike Smithson. And when I do remember these MVP cards, um, I've seen some of the recent... Um, uh, Donruss throwback to this uh, and um, I do think that that's uh, a pretty cool card I thought for a second that might be the Kurt Schilling I believe he was with the Orioles at the time and I think I do have that Kurt Schilling rookie card looks very similar to that Terry Pohl Kurt Young Rafael Santana Milk Thompson Steve Lombardazzi, Benito Santiago. There's just the regular Jose Canseco card. If we flip it over to the back, we can see he had 42 home runs and 40 steals. Um, so I uh, had a great 1988 uh, season there. Uh, they obviously lost to the Dodgers in the World Series that year. I can feel a little bit of wax staining on the, the very, very back, but um, Donruss, unlike Tops, uh, did not have the gum insert so we're not worrying about any gum stains but I can feel a little little wax staining um, on the back there. Zane Smith, Doug Jennings, Dan Gladden, there's uh, Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, not in the Hall of Fame but still a superstar at the time. And uh, speaking of Hall of Fame, there is Tom Glavin. This would be his second year card. It's 88 Donruss. Uh, would be his rookie card. Luis Polonia. Keith Atherton. Vaughn Hayes. <clears throat> Jeff Sellers. Dan Petrie. Cecil Espy. 
Daryl Evans, Chris Brown, there's Fred McGriff, and those beautiful powder blue Blue Jays unis, and Steve Bedrosian. And you can kind of see right there what I'm talking about with the, it's just very difficult to get a, um, a Jim Mint 10 um, out of these packs. Um, in fact, a, a Griffey Jr. Uh, Jim Mint 10 selling for, for well over um, $100. Um, so, I uh, wouldn't necessarily say they're rare, but um, they, are they, they are difficult to pull, for sure. Jim Gott. We've gotten several of those cards so far. There's another duplicate. Ivan Calderon. Jody Davis. Chet Lemon, and there's the other half of the Bash Brothers, Mark McGuire. That card is in really, really good shape. Here's another Hall of Famer, Carlton Fisk. So that's just three good cards in a row, McGuire, Fisk, and now Ryan Sandberg. Uh, I was always a Cubs fan growing up, so Grew up watching Andre Dawson, Sandberg, Mark Grace. Uh, those were uh, those were my guys back in the day. Joe Orsolak, Bob Nepper, Dave Eland, Kelly Downs, Mike Witt, and R.C. Gonzalez. Uh, so yeah, I'm still pretty sure we have not seen a rated rookie card yet so maybe this will be the pack here <coughs> hopefully we can put our Warren Spawn puzzle together at the end as well Juan Nieves Bobby Witt Charlie Paleo Ron Darling, Melito Perez, Pat Sheridan, Mike Maddox, Willie Upshaw, Jim Presley, Mike Diaz with the White Sox unis with the numbers on the legs, Mike Heath, there's Goose Gossage with the Cubs at this point in his career. He has probably already been a Journeyman, Padres, Cubs, started his career with the White Sox, I believe. So there's another Diamond Kings card, Chris Sabo. Um, he would actually have several good years um, at this point. He would win a World Series in 1990 with the Reds. Dave Winfield, another uh, team MVP card, Yankees. And Jose Lind. been busy with the holidays and you need something to kind of unwind um, busting open some junk wax is a great way to kind of get your mind off of all the, the busyness and have a little fun Dan Plesak Larry Sheets Tracy Jones Neil Heaton Rafael Palmero, uh, still with the Cubs. He would soon, soon be on another team. Rangers, uh, Wally Joyner, Greg Brock, Tim Flannery. There's Fernando Valenzuela, and you can see here again what I'm talking about. And we can see the next couple cards here. It's just very, very difficult with these dark borders. They're just very unforgiving. Uh, they just, again, they can just come out of the pack, you know, damaged. Uh, there's that Sean Dunstan card. Again, you can see that, that edging. 
Jeff Kunkel, and Wally Backman. Looks like he, I'm not sure what he's pulling back a bunt or something. This would be need a last um, the last Donruss set that I kind of really liked. 1990 Donruss. Um, we'll we'll bust that open soon, but it's just um, quite frankly, it's just really ugly. The red with the the cursive writing for the names. Um, just not a very pretty. Pretty set. I do like this 89 set. There's Diamond Kings McGriff, Ron Oster, there's a Hall of Famer, George Brett. It's a great looking card. Very clean. George Brett, one of the one of the great third basemen of all time. Jamie Moyer. Alvin Davis. There's Brady Anderson. He would have a 50 home run uh, season. Um, he had the long sideburns. I do remember that. He had the 90210 look going on back in the day. Lloyd Mosby. Bob Forsh. Mike Gallego. 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 Rafael Santana. Again. Milt Thompson. Again. Greg Gagne. And Dennis Rasmussen. Even though these cards do have the dark borders, there's also a lot of varying colors in the cards. I'm not sure if they're team specific or the the color schemes are just random. But um, you can notice at the top and the bottom of the cards, um, they're just kind of a, a rainbow of various colors. Swindell, Vert Blylevin, Hall of Fame pitcher, there's a Fred McGriff, MVP card, Julio Franco, John Shelby, Jose Okendo, Pat Borders, there's Doug Graybeck, there's Hall of Famer Tim Rock Rains. The dreaded checklist card. Another MVP card, Mike Greenwell. Jeff Treadway. Kevin Seitzer. Danny Jackson. And Gary Templeton laying down the bunt there. seen a rated rookie card so that's interesting Al Leiter have some good seasons John Farrell Kevin Bass Darnell Coles Brett Butler there's our first rated rookie card Steve Searcy look he's got the mullet going on and full swing there and another back-to-back -back rated rookie there's Randy Johnson Hall of Famer so that is a great card to get for us um, looks like a mouth breather there not the best picture of Randy but I don't think he was there for the most photogenic Paul Ossenmacher Carney Lansford there's Gerald Perry Diamond Kings Dave LaPointe Franklin Stubbs, Pat Tabler, and Johnny Ray. <coughs> so at least we have a Randy Johnson rated rookie. Uh, obviously, we're looking for Craig Biggio rookie, John Smoke, 
rookie and Griffey Jr. rookies. Kurt Schilling as well, if we can get that. Storm Davis, and you can see these colors that I'm talking about. It kind of goes from yellow to green, and that probably does go with the Oakland A's. Willie McGee from green to blue. Scott May, Mar Marvell Wynn, Jay Bell, Frank Viola. There's a Jose Canseco MVP card. Those are really cool. I like the way those MVP cards look. Those are, I think those hold the or hold the test of time pretty well. Jose Okendo, Mike Flanagan. Felix Fermin, Brian Smith, another checklist card, and there's a Cal Daniels MVP. <coughs> Those MVP cards are the bonus cards that we were we were talking about. Jeff Treadway, Steve Farr, Bo Diaz, Lance McCullers, Roberto Kelly, John Barrel again, Kevin Bass again. A lot of duplicates. A lot, a lot of duplicates. Lo and behold, look who we got. I'm so thrilled that we got that card. Looks like there's a no. I don't think there is. Oh yeah, there's a slight little. You can see it right there. Just a little tiny little piece of white, but um, maybe a little bit of extra cardboard there at the top from the cut. But uh, that's a good looking card. Very happy to get that. The kid, Griffey Jr. Another rated rookie right behind it. So it looks like maybe that's the second time. So those rated rookies may come back to back. That's, that's the second time we've gotten them back to back. Jeff Robinson, Paul Ossenmacher, Ron Hassey, and Harold Reynolds. So thrilled, thrilled, thrilled that we got the, the Griffey. Um, nothing wrong with being greedy and wanting another one. few others, obviously, that we still want to get. Alright, Terry Clark. Billy Ripken. Dale Svim. Craig Worthington. Mike Fitzgerald. Tom Foley. There's the Hawk. That's my favorite player. Andre Dawson. Good looking card there. Hall of Famer. Chris Basio, Eric Show, Tim Cruz. And that's look at the very slender, thin Greg Maddox there. Still with the Cubs. He would pitch with the Cubs through at least 91, maybe 92. Can't remember, but um, Hall of Famer, one of, the, one of the best pitchers, pure pitchers of all time, Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown's numbers are borderline Hall of Fame, if you really look at him. I don't think he is a Hall of Famer, but his numbers are worthy of consideration, at least. Strawberry card right on the back here. A little wax staining on it, I'm sure. David Cohn. Joey Meyer. Chad Kruger. Ron Gant. There's Hall of Famer Gary Carter. And there's the original kid. 
Alito Perez, Guillermo Hernandez, Phil Bradley, Tom Candiotti, Steve Balboni, Sean Hillegas, Dave Bergman, Al Nipper, Johnny Ray, Diamond Kings, and there's Daryl Strawberry, MVP. You can see that BC designation on the back, BC6. Uh, but otherwise, these cards just look, look like the regular, the backs of the regular cards. Daryl Eugene Strawberry. Very careful when I open these because again, they are they are just very delicate. So I'm trying not to create any damage if I can help it. Ken Obergfell, Brian Holman, Glenn Davis, Diamond King. There's another Sandberg card. Mark Langston, Tom Bernanski, Luis Aquino. Bob Stanley, Ron Robinson, Fred McGriff, Diamond Kings, Cal Daniels, Frank White, Mike Bilecki, Tony Gwynn, one of the greatest pure, pure base hitters of all time there, and another Brady Anderson. Yeah, that King Griffey Jr. rookie card could get you almost any other card you wanted. I think it would, uh, you know, he was, still is, honestly. I mean, he's one of the, one of the, if, if you're, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you know, he was just one of the best players of that era. Mike Scott, there's Ozzy Smith, Hall of Famer. One of the best fielders of all time. Ron Hassey, Rick Bruchel, Gary Reedus, Tim Belcher. What set um, Griffey apart was he was just cool. He was just, he had this, the sweet, smooth swing. You know, he would wear the hat backwards. Um, you know, he was just, um, uh, just very cool. And, and was was great, uh, a great player. On top of that, that T on that helmet looks <laughs> looks funky. I don't know, funny looking card. Keith Hernandez and Oil Can Boyd again. I'm a big Seinfeld fan, and every time you, every time I get a Keith Hernandez card, I just hear. Newman's voice in my head saying, Keith Hernandez. If you're a baseball fan and you don't know that episode, you need to watch Seinfeld. It's called The Boyfriend. It's actually a two-part episode, but really, really good. Funny. Baseball themed, basically. George Brett. Um, MVP card. And there's another Ozzy Smith. So back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. Bruce Hurst, Jack Armstrong, Gary Thurman, Tom Hinky, Ernest Riles, Rich Dodson. Uh, and there's another cool rated rookie card. I actually do have this one in my possession, but um, not this not this clean. Uh, it's Gary Sheffield, uh, part of the 500 Home Run Club. I believe he's a cousin to. Dwight Gooden, and there is another one, so we do get those back to back. Uh, that's the third occurrence of that, so that seems pretty, pretty standard. Uh, Paul Molitor, Gary Sheffield probably would be in the Hall of Fame without the um, the PED uh, questions surrounding him. I can't remember if he was mentioned in the Mitchell report, but um, there was definitely some. Some suspicions around him. There's Kirby Puckett, Hall of Famer. Rick Roden. Chef 
Steel. I know we played for the Brewers, played for the Padres, played for the Marlins. I don't remember who else he played for. There's another bonus card, MVP card with Cal Ripken there on the back. Can never go wrong with a Cal Ripken card. It's just like a Nolan Ryan card. We need one of those too. Junior Ortiz, John Dobson, Dave Schmidt, Diamond Kings. I guess they probably had to do somebody besides Cal Ripken. It's like, well, we're doing Cal Ripken every year. <laughs> Dave Schmidt. Tony Pena with the nice turtleneck there. <laughs> Looks like he should be giving a lecture in uh, a lecture hall on some topic. Alvin Davis, Danny Cox, Ed Hearn, Tom Bolton, Nick Sasky, another Diamond Kings, or two, two of those in this pack. There's Eric Davis, Eric the Red, Frank White, Frank DePino, and there's that Cal Ripken MVP card. I'm not sure if that's going to be our 4040 card or not. I'm not sure what the back of that 4040 card looks like. But no, it's like it's a bonus card. Those bonus cards come in on the backs a lot. So, uh, Ricky Horton, Boyd Mosby, Bob Forsh, Gene Nelson, Joel Skinner, Milt Thompson, Greg Gagne. Benito Santiago. There's uh, the base Jose, so we're going to have two Jose Cansecos in this pack, which would have been great back in the day. Craig McMurtry, Marvell Wynn, Tom Lampkin, Frank Viola, and there's what's another uh, Jose Canseco MVP card. Paul Mirabella, Dave Schmidt, Dave Martinez, Dennis Martinez, there's another Raffi, Brian Harvey, pretty good closer back in the day, there's a Tony Gwynn base card, Tim Cruz, there's a Greg Maddox card, MVP, or I'm sorry, a Hall of Famer, O.B. McDowell, Wally Backman, Keith Miller, BJ Surhoff, and Pete O'Brien. Ramon Martinez, Dave Steed, Juan Agosto, Kurt Young, Hal Morris, Kevin Gross, Juan Baringworth, John Crook, a lot of Jose Canseco's, Scott Terry, Curtis Wilkerson, Keith Moreland, Ron Washington and Gene Larkin. All right, so we got about. Uh, looks like we got maybe 15 packs or so to go. Still plenty of time to get uh, you know, John Smoltz, Craig Biggio, maybe another Griffey, maybe a Nolan Ryan as well. 40-40 Jose Canseco card. I would also like to get. There's a Cal Ripken uh, base card. Matt Williams. 
Dave Eland, Kelly Downs, Mike Witt, Billy Ripken, Dale Sven, Jose Bautista, Andy McCaffigan, Tom Foley, Drew Hall, and Bob Boone, father to Aaron and Brett. Ship. The fake smile there. Robin Yount. Diamond King card in Hall of Famer. And there's a Cal Daniels MVP. Jeff Reed. Mike Scott MVP. And Ken Hill. Been lucky. We've got um, we got one out of the '89 Fleer that we busted open, Greg Maddox, and then we've gotten one out of the '89 Donruss. We also got one out of the '89 Bowman. Uh, he was he did not have a, a, a rookie card in the '89 Tops. He was an '89 Tops um, update or traded whatever they called it at the time. Willie Upshaw. And then, um, we haven't, uh, we haven't busted 89 in score yet. I don't think he was part of that base set either, though. I think he was part of that um, update set as well. So don't quote me on that, but I believe that's the case. So far, we are three for three, though. Rich Yet, Rick Dempsey, Jose Okendo, Mike Flanagan, Doug Drabeck, Tim Rock Reigns, another checklist. I've gotten, that's at least three of those, not four. Ernie Witt, Bo Diaz, Lance McCullers, Luis Aguayo, Doug Jones, and Kevin Bass. You can see why those MVP, those bonus cards, those MVP cards carry no real, you know, increase of value or anything like that. They're just they're basically uh, another base card, similar to an all-star card, basically, really. There's an Ozzy Smith one. That's a new one. Julio Franco. Jeff Hamilton. Joe McGrain. Rance Mullinix. There's a Barry Bonds. I haven't got that yet. So that's a that's a cool card. He's not a Hall of Famer, but we all know why. He's definitely the numbers are Surefire first ballot Hall of Famer Tim Raines. Checklist there's an Andre Dawson, so that's cool. Got his bonus card, MVP card. Keith Brown, Israel Sanchez, Paul O'Neill, Randy Reddy, Al Leiter, and Bud Black. Let's see that little corner dean there on Bud Black's card. So we're getting, getting close to the end here. Got 
10 packs to go. about the thinness of cards but it, they do definitely seem thinner than you know 89 tops for comparison uh, Dave Gallagher Mike Heath there's another Goose Gossage and there's a Mark Grace Diamond the King so that's cool it's not the best it's not the best rendition of Mark Grace but that's okay Dr. Dave Winfield Hall of Famer, Jose Lind. There's a Will Clark. Uh, Will the Thrill. Vince Coleman. There's Hall of Famer, Wade Boggs. Another great all-time third baseman, Jay Howell. Gary Thurman. Tom Hinky. Danny Darwin. And Rich Dotson. Sure, gonna get another ready rookie behind this. Could it be? That's a Randy Johnson, so that's not a bad one. Not gonna complain there. Jeff Robinson, Bruce Benedict, Gary Gaetti, Ken Caminiti, future MVP, Jack Clark, Ozzy Virgil, and Doug Jennings. shot here maybe <laughs> third that's our third uh, Randy Johnson rookie card so that's that's okay Jeff Robinson Paul Ossenlocker there's the 4040 so that's cool glad to get this card back in my collection uh, that um, looks like a batting practice jersey not sure but uh, very very cool First 4040 man, I believe he's still the only 4040 man, but I'm not positive, but I think so. Trout may have done it, but I don't think so. I know Acuna almost did it this year, but Harold Reynolds, RJ Reynolds, Alejandro Pena, Jerry Don Gleaton, Johnny Ray, Randy Myers, Rick Mahler, and Jeff Robinson. Thompson. All right, we'll have another shot here. Nope. Felix Jose. That's too bad. Here's Hall of Famer Jack Morris. Tommy Gregg. Greg Cataret. Rick Rochelle. Jeff Robinson. <coughs> Excuse me. Devin White. Kevin McReynolds. And... 
Dale Murphy, who I'd like to see in the Hall of Fame. Sid Fernandez, another oil can void, Randy Kramer, Fred McGriff, Greg Harris, Mike Davis, Bobby Bonilla, Brian Holman, Steve Bedrosian, Tom Pagnazzi, and Mike Stanley. Five packs to go. Been a pretty good, been pretty happy. Three Randy Johnson rookie cards and a Ken Griffey Jr. Still like to get Smoltz and EGO and Kurt Schilling if possible. We also got Gary Sheffield and here's another one. Luis Medina behind him, so. Maybe we're out of luck on a second Griffey rookie. Billy Hatcher. Donnie Baseball. Andy Nezalek. Doug Jennings. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a Roger Clemens. I like Barry Bonds. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. If not, if not for the PED issues. Clouding his career. And Walt Terrell. Sid Fernandez. That's <laughs> got to be like six oil can voids. Several of those Jim Got cards, too. Checklist. Steve Lyons. Mike Aldretti. Fred Lynn. Dave Henderson. Ken Williams. Les Lancaster. Ruben Sierra. Rick Chu. Craig Reynolds. Dave Eland and Kelly Downs. That was that was one of our biggest dud packs in this box. You get you get to get a few of those big duds. Ricky Henderson. That's gonna be that's a new card there. Another Corey Snyder Diamond King. A lot of those, too. Winnie Dykstra. Dwight Evans. Brian Fisher. Wallace Johnson. Ivan Calderon. Joe Price. Mike Hinneman. Glenn Hubbard. Steve Rosenberg. There's another Rhino. Ruben Sierra. There's another Cal. Larry Anderson, and there's Mr. Ricky Henderson with the Yankees. All right, two packs to go here. Schmidt, Brett, Boggs, Miguel Garcia, Ryan Holman, Steve Rosian, 
Agnazi, Henry Cano, Luis Alasea, Ed Hearn, Alice Burks, Ron Robinson, Vince Coleman, Diamond Kings, and Cal Daniels. Alright, one pack to go. Maybe we'll get Smoltz, Biggio, or another Griffey. Can never be too greedy when it comes to baseball cards. Cal Ripken, another one. Craig Reynolds, Dave Eland, Kevin Mitchell, Mike Greenwell. Doesn't look like we've got any rated rookies in this pack, so. There's Jamie Moyer, there's Tony Gwynn, MVP, Mickey Tettleton, Calvin Giraldi, Bob Boone, Greg Brock, Eric Cho, and Ellis Burks. So, to recap, we, we did get a Griffey. We got three Randy Johnson rated rookies, a couple of Gary Sheffields. We got the Jose Canseco 4040 card, and just uh, um, a lot of other Hall of Famers. So, it was a fun box to open. Uh, if you never busted open a box of 89 Donruss, I would encourage you to, to go do that. Um, maybe you can get a, a Griffey as well. And um, until next time, thanks for watching.